massive problem in the UK. There's not enough tradespeople, whether you're a tiler, plasterer, chippy, sparky. Kids aren't naturally thinking about, oh, yeah, I'm going to be a, a brickie. Yeah, you know, there's mucky. And there's not a lot of mucky in the vans going on. Not enough people willing to get their hands mucky. If it's not addressed now, it's going to be a massive problem. So we've got to just give them that option. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is a reality. And see if we can get some kids interested. From Scunny. Sunny Scunny. And I went to, yeah, I went to school. Like seven mile that way in Brig. What a cool place. What a cool place. The lovely music, yeah, but I've never heard of this place. What about the Sleaford Mods here? Yeah, what a place. I'm gonna be back here. I never knew. Well, we need to work on our marketing then. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't need to advertise in the Viz. That's what I said. Oh, ball vans, they always get them in the Viz. I didn't know they, they've got gig listings yeah. in the Viz. Yeah. I'll have to put it in, yeah. I'd be happy to be in the Viz anyway. So, yeah, like, if it's... Upstairs was cool, it was real funky and cool, but downstairs where the bands play, you know, you sort of sticky floors. There wasn't a lot else going on other than the, the bar. As a grassroots music venue, we like it a bit I grungy, mean, yeah, uh, yeah, but there's a, a step too far in that direction. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you guys have kindly come along to uh, transform our downstairs bar. <laughs> Yeah, it's a not-for-profit establishment. So anything we can do to help the place, that's pretty great. I'm a plumber by trade, but I volunteer and try and teach skills to young people. So we need to really push and get more young people to take the opportunity in construction. We encourage girls, as well as boys, to join the industry. And everyone we've met today is girls, which I would least expect. They're in college. But yeah, but this is all going to be used in the real world. It's bloody great. One percent does not surprise me at all. I, I, I don't know of any off the top of my head. So yeah, when you say one percent, yeah, you'd say that's about right. If you get twenty-five percent, that would be a massive help on the skills shortage. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah, giving them the opportunity. Uh, I'll show you how it's done. Clad in the bear, that's what we did to start with, yeah, clad the bear. What are about four different colours to choose from? Yeah, just measure up, cut your bits of wood. I'm learning, mate, I'm learning. Caitlin? Gosh, she's confident, isn't she? Just start getting the teeth on your own, cos that will yeah. hurt. <laughs> You've got to speak your mind, and some women struggle with that sometimes. I don't. <laughs> we'll get you on a building site, yet. Yeah? yeah, good lass. I like the idea of being my own boss and choosing my own work and things like that. You're actually learning by doing rather than seeing and reading about it, so it just appeals to me more. My thumb like that and my finger there keeps it steady. They should give me a few tips on cutting wood and what, yeah, great job. Basically, I'm a single mum, so I've had to do a lot of stuff by myself. There we go. Oh, my. Got two lads. Um, Four-year-old or seven-year-old. And mum looks after the kids so she can do a, a college in. How do you manage this with the kids? Uh, I don't know, you just get on with it. <laughs> the other week, I built a uh, playhouse in the back garden with my two sons. They've got their own little drills, their own little toolkits, and they help me with it. <laughs> and it's the fact that they can go outside. My mummy built that. I helped my mummy do that. It makes me feel like a better parent, if I'm honest. <laughs> Well, we've just been three or four hours doing that all. Me and Beth, yeah, we just kept high and we were just nattering away. And... Usually you have your males who go into construction and your females go into beauty or something. But for some females, they don't like beauty. It's like me, I, I wouldn't know how to put makeup on. But give me a drill and I'll be away. Next thing you know, three hours later, the wall was done. Hi, bad. Good laugh. But you stand back now and you have a look at it, you think, oh, yeah, I like that. I, mean, I think we make a great team. I'd probably uh, get my mum to drive here just to show her and go, I did that. <laughs> so you go to that side. And put the skirting board on. I did that with Maddie, with yeah. the purple air. Blue air. Blue air, same difference. 
A lot of my family, the male family, as you can imagine, they've always done joinery. I've always enjoyed watching them, so I was like, ooh, I'll give it a go. <laughs> What's this called? We're making a mitre. Mitre, I've heard of that. I didn't know what it was. She told me about my mitre joints. You're going to cut it on an angle, so when they get put together, it's a lot finer. The joint is just nicer looking. You know, so you can fill it in with paint. What are you on, of course? No, I'm an apprentice. I work for my local council. You go to tennis house and be like, wow, I've never seen a woman before. You cut like this. Yeah. But then they're like, oh, I enjoy it. I like having you here. And it's quite good, yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking? I think that's good. I thought you were taking the piss last. No, I was being nice. <laughs> Me and Alex painted with a roller first thing this morning. What college course are you doing? It painting decorating. I've always enjoyed art and it's kind of like art, if you know what I mean. Especially oh. doing stuff like this. Alex said about the art, yeah. She, yeah, I suppose there is, isn't it? This is a, a clear acrylic glaze, and then you use this and it's an acrylic colour, it's dark oak. You can put as much as you want in. And then painted it on. Yeah. And this is where the fun begins after we've done this. Went across with this, you saw that, pl like plastic rubber doofer thing. I press it down quite hard. I just moved it about as we were going from left to right. And it left it looking like um, oak. Who the hell thought of that? What was they doing to work that out? That's bloody brilliant, isn't it? You would start at the top. So you would cut in at the top first. Yeah. Yeah, Kelly's from Winterton, which is just up the road. Yeah, you're actually not doing a bad job. <laughs> She's got a job. I'm already um, currently working for someone. I'm doing an apprenticeship. I never really thought of it as a career option because it wasn't presented to me. Yeah, I suppose they don't get pushed at school, do they? If you say to girls, this is what you can do, you can become a painter and decorator, stuff like that, it will really help with the skills gap. Do you have the radio on when you do it? We have absolute classic rock on. All oh, right, yeah. a bit of Led Zeppelin. Oh, yeah, love all that stuff. Do you? Yeah. Oh, it's like mowing grass. Just, oh, I love it. I love it, just painting, see where you've been. Oh, yeah, looks a nice job. Like therapeutic, she was saying. Therapeutic, painting away. Yeah, it's decent. It's better than the first time I did it, anyway. Oh, well. Uh, I'm impressed with all the girls today. That's probably the keenest bunch we've had. Not as keen as mustard. They're all very eager to get out into the real world. They'll definitely make it. You know, they love it. They're doing it because they love it. We've had a few people like asking questions like, oh, what are you doing down there? Oh, is it only females? And you're like, yeah, yeah, just today it was. <laughs> the skill gap, it is a big problem. To feel that you could be a part of shrinking the gap, that thought is exciting for me. <laughs> It's a treat, though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. it's a treat. I'm absolutely stoked. This can be seen by girls that sort of woman an hour in what do they want to do with their life when they leave school, and then they'll see what the girls was getting out of it today. Well, then it's going to be worth its weight in gold, isn't it? Yeah, full steam ahead, eh?